Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. I am sitting down to have a nice bowl of soup while Mao is working on a dress. Uh, did we even know, I don't think we ever showed that mm -mm. that fabric that you got. Mm -mm. Uh, is there a picture of the dress, like what it's going to look like when you're done? <coughs> there. Where? In the other room. Okay, so uh, the one the model was wearing, that is the dress that um, Mao is making. But obviously she's using a different uh, fabric. She's using some kind of red, black, and white thing. But she's here working. Yeah, she's doing pretty good. She likes making clothes. I don't find any personal enjoyment in that, but she likes to do it, so it can't be all bad, right? No. Anyway, after I finish up eating, I'm going to be recording uh, the last few episodes of Pokemon before we need to leave for PAX, and then all the recording should be done, which is good. And then I think later tonight we're going to be uh, joining my parents, maybe for dinner, and also I'm going to get my pre-PAX haircut, which is important because my hair grows so, so quickly. I got a haircut like three weeks ago, and it's already pretty much all grown back, so I'm going to get a haircut before I go to PAX. Well, I got all my Pokemon recordings finished. I needed to uh, record three more, so we had five episodes total before we go to PAX, and uh, I realized something while playing. I was like, holy crap, there are a lot more drawings that we need than we have done. I, there was more drawings, and you fight more of a bigger variety of Pokemon than I thought, because I'm actually going through and I'm fighting every single trainer, and the trainers use a variety of Pokemon, which is good, because you get to see the cool little stat, stat sheets sooner than you would maybe until later in the game, but the downside is that you actually have to have those drawings done, and we have a lot of drawings to do in a short period of time. Anyway, uh, I also realized that uh, today is Sunday, which I did not know. Uh, today is Sunday, tomorrow is Monday, which means Mouse to go back to work, which means we need to go to bed somewhat early tonight. So instead of getting a haircut today, I'm actually going to get it tomorrow because my mom's off work tomorrow. She can give me a haircut tomorrow, be more convenient. So we're still going to go over to my parents' house tonight, but we're just going to have dinner. And we're also going to attempt to play Ascension. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to give it a shot. Aren't you a little cute, Rocco? Yes, you are. He's a cute little Rocco sleeping. Anyway, um... Things have been pretty successful teaching them Ascension. They actually picked up on it pretty quick, and uh, we're we're probably uh, over halfway through the game. And I'm it's, tied with Steve. You're tied with him, and She's mom's beating me by only, or I'm beating mom only by two points. Mm -hmm. So things are going pretty well. What you got over there? Three dollars, three power, and either a dollar or a power. So by uh, two, you're second. Hmm. What you gonna buy? Want me to help you? <laughs> she'll help you. She's the advisor. She'll she'll tell you how to advisor. she'll tell you how to spend your money. So I have one money, two monies. Um, Stephen, can I have a heavy infantry? And that gives me two, three, four attack. I'm gonna kill two cultists. Is it your turn? It's my turn. Okay. So how much do you have? 66. How much do you have? 67. Ooh, he beat you by one point. How much do you have? 65. 65, 66, and 67? Are you kidding me? I have 57. <laughs> I, I, I lost by a bit. That was a close game. Wow. You were all one point apart. It's because it's my birthday week. That must be it. You got the birthday luck. I did not, <laughs> I didn't have very good luck at all. I did bad. <coughs> Excuse you. Wow. That was fun. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a little different, but it's fun. It's different than Catan. It also takes less time. That was a lot of fun, and I have to say, I'm really impressed with the game design team for Ascension, because it speaks of the good game design when my parents can grasp something. And I'm not saying that to like make fun of them, but historically when we've played games, they don't always grasp the concepts immediately. Um, even when we played Catan, it took them it took them probably until like the second or third time we played before they really got it. But Ascension, they got really quick. And it's just because the elements of the game are just really clear cut. It's, it's pretty simple. And I didn't really realize that until the other day when Jarrett was here and we explained it to him and he got it in like two minutes. So um, just, I don't know, good game design. Uh, and I like good game design because then we can enjoy... Uh, games like that with my parents, which is fun. Anyway, the last thing we're going to do today is uh, I'm actually going to try to clean up a cartridge. I got this Quake 64 cartridge um, when we bought uh, the N64 with all the games, and it's kind of messed up. I mean, take, check it out. We got 
uh, ink on the cart, we got ink on the label, we've got a sticker that's on the cart and also partly on the label. So I'm actually going to see if I can get this cleaned up, and if I can and I don't ruin anything, I'm going to share with you guys uh, the process in which I did it. So uh, this is the cart we got. This is uh, Quake 64. I just showed it to you guys. Now what I've got here is Goo Gone. Goo Gone is amazing for getting stuff off. I've also got some uh, alcohol, 50% isopropyl alcohol. I've got some Q-tips. I've got a, uh, a paper towel, and I also am next to the sink in case I need some water. Now generally, I think the, the easiest thing to do first, it's also going to be the most difficult, is going to be getting this label off of the cart itself. Um, the, the problem is not that it's on the, the, the cart. We can get that off pretty easy. The problem is that it's actually touching the sticker back here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it off without affecting the sticker, but I'm going to try. Um, what I generally do when there's like a sticker either on a case or a cart, I usually just uh, dab it a little bit with water and then push it back and forth until it loosens. So I might try that. So I'm going to just run my finger under water for just a second here. And I'm going to just start rubbing it, my wet finger, onto this thing. Pushing with a little force. And normally that will actually bring it, that will actually have that, uh, that sticker start coming off. And I can feel it, it's actually starting to come off already. My, my finger will probably get really dirty while I'm doing this, but... So just keep dabbing a little bit. And then rubbing. And if I can get my nail in there, I could probably pull some of it up. And once we have just the residue, the Goo Gone tends to work really well on getting that kind of stuff off. But uh, getting the front of this thing off is going to be the easy part. I am a little worried about the back, though. So I'm going to keep scrubbing and see how far I can get. Okay, so at this point, I've managed to get most of the crap off, as you can see, which is pretty good. Now, there's still some on the label, and uh, I'm a little worried to try water on that. I'm going I'm to just start lightly applying it and seeing if I can get it to come off. Not using very much water to see if I can kind of scrub it back and forth real easy and get this to come off without hurting the actual back sticker. Once again, this is a copy of Quake 64, so if, if, if it messes up, then that's... You know, I'm not going to lose sleep over it, but I would like to try and do this as as nicely as possible. But right now there is a sticker coating that's protecting the under sticker, so if I can just do it perfect enough, I should be able to get it off without hurting that sticker underneath, which would be excellent. So I'm just going to kind of quickly rub it back and forth, almost using my finger like sandpaper. And it'll, it'll start coming off. Um, this is probably uh, just about as good as I'm going to be able to get. You can actually start to see the other sticker coming through now, which is excellent. At this point, uh, I'm going to switch over to... Um, I'm actually going to try the alcohol. Goo Gone's my favorite, but uh, I've actually never really used the alcohol, and I'm actually going to give that a shot. Just kind of stick this down in here to wet it. And I'm actually just going to give this a shot and see if putting some alcohol back here will help me, I'm just going to apply a real thin layer to this where I need to remove it and see if that won't help me take that off a little more easily. So just go back and forth like this, applying that layer. And I'm going to rub it a little more like I was before. And I can actually feel it giving way. The, the key here is going to be hopefully taking off only that top sticker and not the actual cart sticker underneath. It's rubbing off pretty easy. And there's a lot of excess stuff. Goo Gone seems to handle that gooey stuff better, but there's still a layer of paper, which is why I wanted to try that alcohol. And I think... I think we're good. I don't think we're going to be able to use any, any more of that stuff. At this point, um, your best bet is really probably going for the Goo Gone. Generally when I use the Goo Gone, I use uh, the paper towel with it because I normally have a pretty good area to do. Um, you can find these in smaller bottles. You don't have to buy a gigantic bottle like this. I'm just going to spray a little bit here. Do two quick little sprays. And then I'm just going to apply it. And this is actually orange scent, so everything ends up smelling orange. I'm going to start by applying it over here on the sides here so we can go ahead and get rid of this crap so it'll It'll start cleaning up real nice. 
and it should take all this stuff off real easily. But it doesn't go through the paper very well, which is why if it has a sticker or something on it, like that Blockbuster sticker, you're going to want to try and take it off by yourself with like water in your fingernail. But the Goo Gone tends to, to take all the other sticky stuff off, although it can take a few passes, which it's probably going to take with this. Yeah, see now it's still really sticky, but some of that stuff's coming off. So let's just keep doing this for a minute and see if we can get somewhere. Okay, so I've actually got the label off. There is no label on the front, there's no label on the back, and the back label, uh, the actual sticker of the cart is intact and is not harmed at all, which is pretty sweet. Um, you can see actually where the imprint, where they uh, imprint the numbers on the back, it started to kind of wear away there, but honestly, that's barely noticeable and hardly a problem. Uh, the cart's going to be a little slick from the Goo Gone, but that's okay. But uh, basically, what I did just there was uh, just keep rubbing with Goo Gone, and um, maybe after a layer or two of that, I switched it back up with this. And then the final thing you're going to be using on that is the Goo Gone, because that's actually going to take it all off. You just have to be careful to, uh, you know, you have to rub hard enough that it comes off, but at the same time, if you rub too hard, you're going to affect whatever's underneath it. But I managed to get most of it off, which is good. The next step is going to be trying to get off um, the actual marker that's on the cart, which shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I'm going to try Goo Gone first and see if Goo Gone will take it off. If it doesn't, we'll try the alcohol or some mix of the two. But uh, I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hopeful that the, uh, the Goo Gone will actually just take this off. But let's see what happens here. Okay, so after struggling with this for some time, I've gotten most of it off. Um, I believe that I could probably get more of it off, but honestly, I've been doing this for probably 20 minutes, and uh, it's, it's really hard to do. Also, generally, when you use Goo Gone, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to spray it on there, leave it sit a few minutes, and then try to wipe it off. But I found that for, like, ink, it doesn't work that well. A uh, combination of both of these work pretty good on trying to get ink off. Uh, Goo Gone tends to work the best. Um, but as far as like leaving it sit on the back, I wouldn't do that just because there's a sticker and I, I would be afraid that if you left it on too long, eventually it would hurt it. Um, the only thing left to do is to try and get the ink off the label, which is going to be a nightmare. Uh, I'm going to try it, and I'm honestly not even sure how I'm going to do it. I feel like the Goo Gone is probably going to do a better job. Um, what I'm going to do, I think we're going to take off the spray nozzle for this. There we go. I'm going to take off the spray nozzle for the Goo Gone. Just kind of sit it to the side. And then I'm going to get some of it on a Q-tip here. There we go. And I'm going to try and almost draw the same pattern that's on the cartridge, because I don't want it to get on anything other than what it absolutely has to touch, because I really don't want to ruin the label on the game. Obviously, this is not an expensive title, but, you know, if you were doing this with a really expensive game, you would want to be careful, so, same thing. I'm just going to kind of take my time, make sure I get it on all the spots, and uh, then, now that I have Goo Gone on, on the little lines there, I'm just going to, God, I don't even know, <laughs> I don't know if I should try and scrub it off. It might come off that way. Just going to try to scrub it off and see if I can get the uh, ink off. Oh my god, it's working. Okay, so I think I'm finished working on this, and uh, I did my absolute best to get the marker off the label. Uh, and it was actually working, but the problem is you have to be so careful and actually work with it just with the Q-tip, because I got hasty and started to use the paper towel and was rubbing it and uh, the Goo Gone started to take the color off the label real quick so as you can see um, let that come into focus a little bit uh, it was taking the uh, the ink from the sharpie or whatever it was off the problem is uh, you can see where it started to actually lighten in color because I was starting to get hasty and just you know scrub it but honestly the best defense against like the best way to get that off is to not buy a cartridge with it on in the first place. I mean, I know if you're out in the field and you're, you're at a flea market or something and you see a game it's just a really good deal, then go for it. Um, but, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything having it on there. But if you want to take it off, it might be in your best interest just to leave it on because 
it's really, really hard to get off. Or rather, I, I shouldn't say that it's hard to get off. It's easy to get off. You just also might take off the label. I guess if you were really, really careful, you could do it, but I don't know, man. It's 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 hard work. I don't know if I would recommend it. But, the, you know, the cart still works. The cart works fine. And uh, I was able to get off most of this, and if with more time, I could. But um, compared to what it looked like, I mean, it's a huge improvement. Huge, huge, huge improvement. We didn't damage the back at all. It's no longer has the big sticker on it. And uh, it's just a lot prettier to look at than before. So that's a plus. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. We have got uh, only three days left until we go to PAX, which is crazy. Uh, I've got tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Wednesday evening we're driving to Charleston. And then, like, early Thursday morning we're actually going to PAX. So i got three days to get everything done I need to do. Um, as I said earlier, I've, I've got the Pokemon episodes recorded, but I've actually got to do a lot of drawing and editing to get them all finished up. So it's going to be fun. Anyway, today was just kind of a myriad of things, I guess, but whatever. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? You don't like taco? Okay. You like Rocco taco? Okay. You like just Rocco? It's okay, but not taco. Oh, making <laughs> you tired, huh?